What's going on, Magic the Gathering fans? Welcome back for another Pistol Pete's Collectible Trading Cards uh, Pack Crack videos. This time we're doing a double Pack Crack video. And you know what that means. That means we're giving away some free stuff. Um, that's right. So, rules to participate. You must be a subscriber. You must like the video. And you must leave a comment in the video in order to be uh, included in a drawing that we will do one month from today, from the date of upload. Uh, we will do a drawing on another video for another pack crack where we will pull out our trusty old Core 2021 Magic Dice. We will roll the dice and we will get a number between the number 1 and Core 2021, which is 20. And that is the dollar value of the card you'll get. So if you check some of our past videos, we haven't had many followers and we haven't had many people commenting on our videos. So for the few that have, they've been rewarded. Um, you've gotten some free cards. We just gave away a free $12 card from Strixhaven. It was an Inquisition of Kotzlik. And, uh, you know, correct me if I'm wrong on the pronunciation there. There you go. There's a free comment for you guys to go and chirp me about. Um, but yeah, drop your comments. Try to share something relevant about this particular set. Uh, because you are, if you do win, you're going to be getting a free card from Strixhaven School of Mages. And again, it'll be whatever the present day value at that time in our month from now when we do the drawing. It'll be whatever the present day value is there. So the Inquisition of Kotzlik that we just gave away was $12 at the time that we gifted the card away. But it had just come down from $14 and it was actually as high as $20 about a month ago. So, um, you know, congrats again to, I think it was Tim for the winner from that prize because uh, you just got a great card that's only guaranteed to pretty much go up back up in value again um, once some of the selling storm has, has dissipated for magic so anyways let's not piss about let's get right into it we're going to crack these two packs and again in one month from now check out our video releases so that'll be around July 15th or so uh, give or take a day or two it depends on how long uh, how busy I am excuse me, and how long it takes for me to upload those videos. So, uh, but I do aim to do it one month from the date of this current video to give plenty of people the opportunity to drop comments, subscribe, and like the video, and participate in the free card giveaway from Pistol Pete's Collectible Trading Cards. So, box numero uno. Let's hope, you yeah, actually forget the hope. We know we're gonna be showing you some badass cards from these sets. So uh, stick around and let's see what we get. Um, in one of the videos we did, we got a double demonic tutor. One being the uh, Japanese altered art and another being um, the Japanese, or sorry, one being the Japanese altered art foil that's worth like, was worth like $500 at the time. Um, since it's dropped to, I think 400 or so now. But anyways, we got one of those right after we had just finished pulling a uh, regular demonic tutor non-foil so that was super exciting by the way guys i am going to give continue giving a little bit of lessons here from from this collector box set because i don't want any of you guys to go out and buy one and get screwed um a lot of folks have been neglecting to realize that what see what just happened here was i went through the uncommons and you see so there was two one uncommon two uncommon and bam a rare so pay attention to that because every now and then you're gonna score a rare or a mythic um, in place of one of those three uncommons. In this case, it was Teachings of the Archaic, a lesson card, nice little rare. We also got Attempted by the Auric for a rare. And for the Commander series, which was included in the Strixhaven School of Mages and the Mystical Archive set, um, Collector Booster set, um, we got our first mythic right here. Oscar, the Reconstructor. And there's no foils in the Commander series, but uh, there are some pretty dope Commander cards in that in this particular series, uh, Commander 2021. So, you know, stay tuned. So, anyways, Silver Quill, Silencer, the extended art card. And I do apologize. I know you guys probably laugh at me by now about this, but I am just not uh, killing it quite yet on all of the different um, Japanese altered art cards. So. If you want, you know, another easy peasy comment for you all, tell us what this card is, because I've got no idea. Um, but that, anyways, Japanese Altered Art card. 
And Gift of Estates. I'm going to drop that sucker here. And then I'm going to drop... These are the uh, Mystical Archives cards. With the funky border here and this little set symbol here. These are the Mystical Archive cards. So Gift of the Estates, our first non-foil from the Mystical Archives. And then we got Rudy the Cat, a foil Japanese art. Ooh, and the Hall of Oracles. Actually, not a bad card at all. Add one mana of any color uh, for a tap and paying one. And put a, you can also tap it and put a 1-1 one, one counter on a target creature. This is a nasty land to have. Nasty, nasty, nasty. And I'm going to have to reorganize here. Let's do this. Let's just move these slightly out of the way. We'll keep our Mystical Archives on the far side here. We'll keep our foil separated from our non-foil, and then the tokens can just be burned, frankly. Actually, there are some really good tokens in here. You might get lucky and get like a double. There's a couple of valuable double-sided tokens in this uh, set, so keep an eye out for those. I can't tell you off the top of my head what it is. See, we, we had an uncommon replaced with a common foil there. And here we are, we're getting into the rares now. So we've got Auric, the Lore Mage. Lore Mage. And then we've got a Blossoming Bog Beast from Commander 2021. Can I, I'm gonna stick that. Nah, whatever, we'll just, whatever. We'll just stick it on here. Although, no, I'm gonna pull the, I'm gonna pull the Mythics. Pull the Mythics here at least, leave them on the bottom, and then at the end of the video we can chat a little bit about it. So the Biblioplex, and for a non-foil, Rare, Extended Art, and Claim the Firstborn for the Mystical Archives card. Stick that one right, right in there. And then, this one's a rare, and it is, I think, like a $10 to $20 card. It might even be a little more. It might be more than $20. I can't recall. And I'm sorry, guys. You're going to have to help me out here and drop some comments and uh, chirps and let me know what it is. I was going to say Abundant Harvest. I know it's not an Abundant Harvest. Um, so I'm a little bit lost for words right now on what it is. Help me out. Help me out. We'll stick that guy right down over here. We'll put the non-foils up top. Uh, I'm kind of screwing up, but whatever. Let's not waste your time. Then we got one of these guys here. Uh, foil. Uncommon. Oh, nice. Gucci, Gucci, Gucci. We got a Demonic Tutor foil from the Mystical Archives. Guys, I have been hunting for this. I've probably got, what, like six pre-release kits opening videos. And this is my seventh collector booster pack. And I finally got a foil Demonic Tutor here from Mystical Archives. I am officially a happy man. That is golden. For those of you who don't know, that sucker is going to be about a $70 or $80 card right there. Just, oh, I don't even want to touch it, I, I, but I will. I, I'll got to show you guys it. Number 27 in the set. Beautiful artwork. The foiling on it, actually, like, I liked the artwork plain, but when you get, the foiling is awesome on this one. It looks really cool, guys. Really cool. Well, that's a great start. The last time we got a Demonic Tutor in the first four packs, that was pack number three. And this time we got one. But you know what happened after we got the last Demonic Tutor? We got a foil Japanese Alter Dark Demonic Tutor as well. Only two packs later. So keep keep with it here, guys. We might be pulling some magic out of our Yin Yangs. Prismari Command. Great card. Great card. I, I've uh, We've sold a number of these in the extended art form for, through our TCG player store. Theoretical duplication for the Commander series. Nice. And there's another mythic card. Kazmina, the Enigma Sage, a legendary planeswalker. And that's the full art Kazmina card. Nice little pulls so far, guys. Nice little pulls. I don't know where should I... Let's just stick these these real nice mythics right here. I guess I ought to pull that demonic tutor too, hey? Better leave these 
leave these babies down and out in the open a little bit so that I can remember to come back to them when we're done this video. So, agonizing remorse for our Mystical Archives card. Uh, I don't know. Uh, what is that, like Grape Shot? Can I take a couple guesses? Grape Shot or... No, that's not going to be Grape Shot. Is it? It is Grape. It is Grape Shot. That's Grape Shot. Great. Excellent rare card. 20 bucks. Shazam. Kabwam. We're winning, guys. This is a great pack video. Pack crack video already. And hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Who is this again? Oh, I'm pretty sure this is also worth a little bit of money here. This sucker right here. Drop your comments. Tell me. I need to know. You guys want to know too. Don't lie to yourselves. Anyways, we'll keep we'll keep plugging along here. We'll come back to that. I, I know it's not Dark Ritual because it's like the smoke coming out and stuff. So maybe it's not. I was thinking it was Dark Ritual, but I, maybe it's not. Anyways, we got a Silver Quill Silencer for the extended art or full art. or No, that's not full art. It's extended because there's a border. So we'll stick that puppy right there. And then we got our token. Let's keep moving. So yeah, three packs in. We've already gotten like... Sorry, four packs in and we're already up over $100 worth of cards. Get yourself some of these packs, guys. Like, what are you waiting for? This is, honestly, Strixhaven has been one of the best set for return on value um, that I've I've gone, you know, deep in on in a long time. Um, I went really deep on Core 2021. It didn't pan out as well as I was hoping it would. I mean, I got my return. But this set is a winner. It's also dirt cheap compared to Commander Legends. And you're getting, actually, I would argue, even more valuable cards on average. So great set for investment. Um, Necroblossom Snarl for the rare land right there. Foil. Then we got a Tavash, the Gloom Summoner from Commander 2021. Followed by a Freet the Flame Painter, extended art. And another one of these guys, but this time the non-foil. Followed by Sign in Blood, a great card. Target player draws two card, but you do lose two lives. And uh, usually if I'm playing with a Vido deck or some sort of healing deck, I like that. A lifelink deck, you know. I like that card. It's a good card. Uh, Infuriate for our foil. Oh, and we got a Dark Ritual. Wicked. Foil Dark Ritual, I should say. Add your swamps. Three swamps. Boom. Slaughter, man. It's a great card. Dark Ritual. Not bad pulls already. I'm actually super stoked about this particular crack. These are some amazing cards right off the bat, guys. There is a little... I don't know if you can see it. Something with the roller here. There is a little bit of uh, crease lines down the center of the card. It's actually the first time I'm seeing that. I'm a little disappointed about that, but oh, we got a Harness Infinity, another Mythic, guys. Another Mythic. What, we're at four Mythics now? That's silly. We've only opened six packs. See, and so you'll find this. Magic has a tendency to, to just load up some of these boxes. Monologue tax. Great. Commander 2021. Dramatic Finale. For the rare. Opt. Good old classic. Opt. And, oh, what is this? I know it's a good one. I don't know how good a one it is. Shucks. I can't remember. Do any of you guys want to chime in? Drop a comment. I don't want to sit here for too long, but I believe it's a decent card. It is a rare. Japanese altered art. And then we've got our, this is a diamond dozen, this one here. I can't even remember what it is. I should know it by now. And we did, we did get, that's the Dark Ritual, isn't it? This is a rare foil, full art. I'm pretty sure that's the Dark Ritual one here. Because there's the smoke coming off the dudes. I don't know. I'm going to have to, I'm going to have to give this one a pass. Or not Dark Ritual. What am I thinking? Oh my gosh. You guys know what I'm trying to find. What, what word I'm trying to find. What name I'm trying to find. Tell me it. Ah, oh, shucks. 
Well, anyways, why am I thinking, why can't I think of the name of this one? It's a good card. And it's the foil version, so I'm pleased with that. This has been a stunning box so far. 200 and whatever bucks, 250 or whatever, or more or less, give or take 20 bucks, whatever you're paying for it. These are some great pulls already, like just great pulls. Um, basic Conjuration, a lesson card. Another foil, <laughs> another foil mythic card here, guys. This is ridiculous. And that's the double-sided Planeswalker with Will, Scholar of the Frost, a legendary Planeswalker. Just pretty beefy, by the way. And Rowan, the Scholar of Sparks. And she's got some sparks if you're in the blondes. She is a firecracker, that one. So, let's keep on going. Elementalist Palette. It's a cool looking card. I actually haven't come across that one yet. That's cool. From Commander 2021. Whenever you cast a spell with X, it's mana in its mana cost, put two charge counters on Elemental and Elementalist pa bleh, Palette. I cannot speak. And then you can tap for one mana of any color. That's not bad considering it's an artifact. So you can just keep that sucker on the table. And you can add colorless for each charge counter on them. That's pretty pretty gooch. Wandering, or wandering Archaic for the non-foil. And I can't remember, but I don't really care too much about. And Electrolyze. Uh, non-foil Mystical Archives. We will take it. Guys, I think there's a miscut card in here. There is a miscut card in here. Wicked. Electrolyze. Let's find out what that miscut card is. I'm pretty excited about that. That's the one. Three visits, is it? What is it called? Is it three visits? That's the one I was thinking the other card was. Ah, uh, no. What is it called again? Or Village Rights. Village Rights. That's Village Rights. I'm quite confident. And that's an uncommon foil. Then we got Wither Bloom Command. Nice for the extended art foil right there. And might I add, it is the Wither Bloom Command. And actually, it's a couple of these Silver Quill Silencer, Wither Bloom Command, and the Hall of Oracles are all miscut. Look at the bottom left corner on that. See how it's basically squared? And then this one, these are all rounded here, right? It's an off cut. It's not cut. That actually uh, might be a little bit of a premium. See here? The overlap? It's not cut. Well, those are going in the Pistol Pete's... Uh, I don't know, what do you call it? Safety deposit box? Call it that? Those are going away. You'll be able to come back and see them again, but you won't be able to see them for yourselves in person because I'm not selling them. Sorry, guys. I like the miscuts and the misprints and stuff like that. It's just, they're just that much more rare, you know? Especially if it is already a rare card and then it's got a miscut or a misprint. It's just that much more rare than your standard print that's out there. Ingenious Mastery. And who doesn't like the underdog? You know, the miscut card. Everybody likes the underdog. Wake the Past, Commander 2021, and Cody, the Vociferous Codex. Then we got Jurass for the Japanese Altered Art. And nice, Swords to Plowshares. Another great freaking card, guys. This has been a stunning pack crack so far. Very pleased. Swords to Plowshares, excellent. Adventurous Impulse, foil. And another foil, God's Willing. Rare, God's Willing Mystical Archive. And that is actually a, a gorgeous card. I do really like that. The artwork and then the title, it's nice. Well, excellent, excellent, excellent. We got a Plowshares, a God's Willing, and... Well, I guess we got the Adventurous, whatever... I don't know. We got we got good cards in that pack right there. I mean, look. 
I'd be paying, I mean, I wouldn't because I run a shop, so I can't afford to, but if I was just collecting for myself, I wouldn't mind paying 20 bucks, 25 bucks for one of these packs. Like, it's it's a winner. 99% of the time, so if I, I would, I, I guess I shouldn't give that kind of an average, but these, these packs have been killer, man. I mean, Demonic Tutor right there. Man, oh man, Silver Quill Command. Then we got Essence Pulse from Commander 2021. Accomplished Alchemist. Thrill of Possibility. Oh, guys, this is a little silly now here. This is just getting a little silly. We got another Mythic, and it's Teferi's Protection. That is unreal. A Duress, this time a Foil. And lastly, Crackle with Power. I have a friend, my man, who got me into this game. That's another Mythic. Two Mythics right there. Teferi's Protection and a Crackle with Power. I mean, guys, look at all these Mythics. Boom, 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 boom. Seven? Are there more than seven? Who cares? You got like $20, $30, $40 rares in here. Dude, like we got eight, four more packs to go. We're only eight packs through, and I'm already sitting looking at like what, 350, 300 bu 350 bucks or something like that, probably. That's silly. Why haven't you gone out and bought one of these commander boxes? Actually, don't, because then I'll just keep buying more and opening them for you all to watch. Sedgemoor, the witch. Then we got Fiery Encore, Commander 2021, another Witherbloom Command, this time the non-foil. Then we got one of these guys, Firstborn, something the Firstborn, can't remember, but it's something about the Firstborn. Not a very fancy card. Oh my gosh, and another freaking Mythic. I don't know what I'm going to do with myself here. I think I'm going to get one Mythic for every pack I've opened in this box. That's ridiculous. Crux of Fate. And that was a non-foil Crux of Fate. And Shock for a foil, Mystical Archives. And lastly, Archmage Emeritus. <coughs> he must be one learned fella. All right, let's keep the hits. See, you know, at the start of this video, I said I hope I'm pulling some good videos. You got to just go into this stuff with some confidence. These boxes are killer. I can't wait. In a month from now... When we're coming back to draw whoever wins your $1 to $20 card from this video right here that you're watching right now, when we come back, we're going to be doing some of the uh, Modern Horizons 2 double collector booster pack cracks and giving away free cards from that. So, um, that one I'm very excited about. There's a lot of big dollar cards in that set. I'm going to wait a little bit. Leon and Lightscribe, by the way, and Sly Instigator. I'm going to wait a little bit on that before I go into it too heavy because the prices are a little outrageous right now. Uh, my only fear is that maybe they go up because there are some really well-valued cards in that set. So we got, what is this, the 10th Mythic? Magma Opus, Extended Art. It's just raining Mythics here and rares. Here's another rare Japanese Altered Art card, non-foil. Followed by an uncommon Japanese Altered Art Foil and Selfless Glyph Weaver. Or, bear in mind that triangle in the top left, you flip the card and Deadly Vanity on the other side. Two more to go. We're ten down and we're already laughing. This is insane. I mean, I don't mean to make these videos take a long time, but when you're getting killer pulls like this, like you gotta, you gotta share the love. Selfless Glyph Weaver. Felicia, the Fang of Silver Quill, she is another freaking mythic. So we're up to 11 mythics now out of 12 collector booster packs. This is a silly, silly opening right now. Don't count on having my kind of luck, but hope for it, obviously, because you'd be silly not to. Let me got. Uh, what is this? I don't remember. I know what it is too. I just can't think of the name right now. Then we got Abundant Harvest. A nice rare card to have. Then we got Snakeskin Veil Foil. And our last is a Foil Rare Japanese Altered Art card. Wicked. Unreal. Unreal. I'm, I'm, I'm a little... Oh wait. 
We got one more pack. Oh my gosh. See, I was so overly excited and confident about what we've already pulled. I forgot the I forgot there was another pack to go through. Gosh. And there's another extra rare in there. Where the uncommon or common should be. Illuminate history. Followed by a demigoth titan. And the stinging study. It's like a night studying for exams all darn night long. Roll yourself a fatty and play some magic and have a good time to let yourself loose afterwards. Infuriate. Ooh, what is this one? I actually haven't seen this one. This one's going to be added to my collection. I actually have not seen this one before. I, I'm really curious. What is this one? Hey, people. You going you gonna to tell me? No, I guess you're not, are ya? But, I'm gonna figure out eventually. I'm not gonna waste your time. You can look at it a little while longer and it's gone. I'll figure that out later. So, we got Whirlwind Nile, and we got a Damagoth Titan. So overall, stupid impressed with that first pack crack. Look at these, look at these, Teferi's Protection, Foil Demonic Art, or sorry, Foil Demonic Tutor, Rowan Scholar of the Sparks Foil, aka Will Scholar of the Frost, Kasmina, the Enigma Sage, Crackle with Power. One of my friends, I, th I think I said it earlier, but he's got a misprint of this card. Wicked misprint. Uh, Crux of Fate, and Magma Opus. For the mythics there as well as harness infinity and um these two here osgur and felicia absolutely freaking unreal people unreal uh just soak it in for now while these get placed in their respective piles and uh That's that. All right, pack two. If you thought pack number one was exciting, you have not seen anything yet. Pack number two, well, I really don't know what's gonna be in pack number two, but I just have a feeling that if pack number one was that awesome, pack number two has to be awesome. So let's get Crackle all in with our power. See what I did there? We've got Illuminate History, the Biblioplex, Spawning Kraken. Ooh, nice, not a bad start, not a bad start. Velomicus Lorehold, the Mythic Rare, a full art card, non-foil, but he is a good card. And then we got an Uncommon we got a foil of that one in the last box, I think. Or maybe it was a non-foil, but we got one. Mana Tithe, great. Counter target spell, unless it's controller pays one. I do hate that it gives that. It's not the best counter, but it is only one uh, one mana. So, you know. Village Rights, that's what the one card must have been that I was thug struggling for a bit. Village Rights. It was a Village Rights. I'm just going to call it. I don't even need to go back. I know that's what it was. Exponential Growth for the extended art foil and then we go on to number two so not bad that was a good first pack from that collector booster let's keep on trucking let's keep on trucking we got another mythic boom 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 and i think that was after two uncommons yes it was two uncommons yeah so that was a bonus mythic right there. That could have been a common or an uncommon or a rare. Jadzi, the Oracle of Arcavios. Or Journey to the Oracle. Fantastic. Very pleased. Sequence Engine. Then we've got a Sparring Regimen. Followed by another Village Rights. And a rare. I can't recall what this rare is. It's an, a non-foil Japanese Altered Art. 
like I said, I can't recall what it is. Then we got an opt foil, great card and beautiful artwork. The foiling actually makes this card super sharp. If you ever see the sucker in person, it's super sharp. Just take my word for it. Nice, is that, um, oh, is that Abundant Harvest? No, that's not Abundant Harvest. What is it? Guys, I really wish I had somebody who is equally as awesome as myself here to help me share these videos. I, I'm not gonna lie. Primal Command. That's what you are. How much is the Primal Command? God, give me two seconds. Okay, $20 foil, Mythic Rare. Japanese Alter Dark. Not bad, not bad. I don't have that yet in my collection, so I'm ready for that one. Actually got a, quite a few new drops from my collection here today, including that foil Demonic Tutor from the Mystical Archives. Very happy about that. Just, just nothing but delighted. Wow, seriously, another bonus mythic. Yeah, two uncommons, and that's the bonus mythic right there. The Mascot Exhibition. Lesson card. Excellent. Calling ritual. See, I feel I was telling you I was feeling like this is gonna be a good one, and it's gonna be a good one. Ruxa, the patient professor, followed by another mythic, another double mythic pack. Guys, get some. Harness infinity. Bam. Mythic. Eliminate. Bam. Oh! Another one? <laughs> another primal command right there. Another mythic, might I add, another one. Another one bites the dust. Thrill of possibility for a foil. Jeez, and these mystical archive foils are popping off left, right, and center too, man. Putrefy for a rare mystical archives foil. Gorgeous artwork, really cool. Little bit of a mix of like modern with the zombie-ish type dude, but it also has some of like a more vintage kind of touch with the way they drew out the queen. Really cool combination of art, I feel. There's a lot of neat cards like that. I like the kind of old art flair kind of theme going on. Like, I don't know what century you would put it in, but it just, there's like some older vibe to a lot of the artwork on some of these cards. And then there's also like super modern where you're getting like the Japanese altered art cards in there. So we got two uncommons followed by another uncommon. And then we go into, is this Shale or Shale? Dean of Resistance. I think it's Shale. And Ambrose, the Dean of Shadow. Guardian Archon for Commander Series. Followed by Leonin Light Scribe. Ooh, um, oh. Can't remember the name of it. I, I do believe it's a decent card, but I don't wanna, I don't wanna, I don't wanna sound like I know what I'm talking about with that one, because I don't. Then we got another rare, Memory Lapse from the Mystical Archives. Excellent pulls. So many rares and mythics here. Excellent. Revitalized foil and then another foil Japanese Alter Dark card, which I do not know what it is. I'm sure a lot of these are going to be like winners, like real winner winner chicken dinners, but I just don't know what they are because they're freaking Japanese. And if you've seen my other video, I've already chirped enough about that. I don't see a point in beating a dead horse here. Um, let's keep on plugging away, plugging away. All right, we got Conspiracy Theorist for our rare. Followed by, you know, I think I should live stream the next video. Get a few more of you guys actually engaging in, in, in the conversation here. Why not? Witch's Clinic for a Commander 2021. Fervent Mastery, f extended art card. Revitalize, an abundant harvest, beautiful card, non-foil rare, but also very valuable. I feel like the abundant harvest, if my memory serves me right, that still is a $20 card, even as a non-foil. But don't pin me down to that. Another Rudy the Cat foil and Auric Lore Mage. Trying to pick up the pace here a little. We're about halfway through. This is pack number seven of 12, or sorry, pack number five of 12. We've got two. Dina is actually an excellent card. Excellent uh, legendary creature to play with. She's real good, and I freaking hate her when I'm fighting her. Silver Quill Silencer for a rare. Nils, the Discipline Enforcer. He's a real tight ass. 
Then you got Archmage Emeritus. He's just a bala. And it's like transcendent something, but it's trash. And so we're not going to waste time on it. Tendrils of Agony. Aren't you in pain? It's so sad. For a rare. Oh, Cultivate. Cultivate, right? I think that's a Cultivate foil. Japanese Altered Art. My memory serves me right. I've got a few of those. Those are great. Cultivate's a great card in general. I mean, was it you pull two cards, stick one in your, one on the playing field and one in your hand or something like that? See guys, I read that. That was Japanese and I actually just learned the language while we were doing this video. That's why you should get some, some of these cards for yourself from Strixhaven. You learn another language, you enjoy playing a game doing so, and then you can teach your friends how to play the game and another language at the same time. Dramatic Finale, Cunning Rhetoric from Commander 2021, Multiple Choice, which is also a phenomenal card that they added in this. I, I'm surprised it's not much more expensive. The amount of different possibilities and uses for that card is, is endless. Thrill of Possibility, and a what the fudge, I don't know, but it's rare and it looks pretty cool. There's like a penis monster in the background with a sparkle cloud of fairy dust. And he's got a bone arm and a real arm. Pretty neat artwork. It's rare. Then we got a negate foil. Also super sharp looking card um, from Strix8. A lot of the cards. Ooh. 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 Time war. Right into the pile, it warped itself. That's an excellent, I gotta pull that up again. That's an excellent foil mythical card. Mythical rare card, excellent. And these mystical archives cards, especially the foils, they're among the sharpest. And I mean that in the sense of like, what sharp is supposed to mean in resolution and like, uh, oh, I guess that's the best way to put it. You know, like it's just like really vibrant. It really pops these cards. I really like them. Strixhaven Stadium. Ooh, another mythic. Essex, the frat. Oh, another mythic. We got the double. We got the double. We got a mythic commander. Excuse me. And we got a mythic Miley, the crafty companion. <laughs> Excuse me. Or Luca, the wayward bonder. <laughs> and one of these guys. And a lightning bolt. <laughs> Great card, also valuable, followed by one of these guys. I should just start making up names for them. That's the Stargazer attack, and then we got Ingenious Mastery. You never want to get stunned with that Stargazer attack. You'll just be dazed for days. All right, we've got Radiant Scroll Wielder. Guardian Augmenter, Basic Conjuration, a Dunno, and another Time Warp. This time the non-foil. <coughs> that's, that's silly, but nice. But it's silly. And another one of these Stargazers. You gotta watch out for those. This time around, we got a roll in earlier, the Scholar of Sparks. And Will the Scholar of Sparks, but this time it is the full art card foil. Excellent. Excellent, guys. Just super gooch. Super gooch. Overall, we got three more packs left, and I am happy. I like these polls, man. <coughs> no complaints. Definitely made my dollars back. Exponential growth. And I got some wonderful, excellent, new or um, duplicative cards that I can use for deck building or uh, sell some of them if I wanted to. And <gasps> time warp. Three time warps, the triple warping situation. That is incredible. This sucker right here, guys, the Japanese 
uh, Altered Art Time Warp is $85 plus dollars because it's not going down. I'm not letting it go down. I'm not selling that sucker for cheaper than $85 freaking dollars, man. Add that to the Teferi's Protection we pulled earlier, the Demonic Tutor we pulled, the Foil Demonic Tutor, and all the other bad bottom cards we got here today, and I am one happy camper. Straight up. I don't lie to you. Tell you how it is. What you know about that. Oh, get some. All right, we've got Elite Spellbinder. Followed by Battle Mages Bracers from Commander Series. Culling Ritual. Another Cultivate, non foil. <coughs> Excuse me, Crosan Get Grip for a rare from Mystical Archives. And I, I think this is Eliminate. Eliminate and what? This is a nice one. I know this is a valuable card because I remember scanning it and pooping my panties a little bit about how being surprised what it was worth. I just don't remember what it is. It is a rare. It is a Japanese altered art card. And those are the dollars, dollar haulers in uh, the Japanese altered art um, collection. <coughs> I'm wondering if it's like maybe tainted. No, tainted pack is a mythic, right? So it couldn't be tainted pack. I just know tainted pack is like kind of blue when you're looking at the mystical archive version of it. So I don't know what that one is. Drop your comments, not just to tell me off. But you're welcome to leave feedback for me to know how I can improve these videos for the future. So we got a Magma Opus, another mythic. Just guys, I think we've got like a two dozen mythics. Layla, the Blade Reforged, in this video. I'll comment about that in one of my next videos. Just to re reiterate how many amazingness cards I got here. But uh, all around, like, no complaints. Absolutely amazing. Don't know what it is, but I'll take it. And I love it. And it's rare. Transcendent something. Worthless, but I'll take it. And Lightning Bolt Foil to wrap it all up. Look at that, guys. So there you have it. As you've seen from the, uh, well, I guess I've opened eight collector boosters now in total of Strixhaven Schools of Mages. And as you've seen, honestly, consistently across the board in all eight video or four videos, because I do double pack cracks, they've been winners. I'm actually laughing with how much value I've gotten back in all of these cards, and I'm starting to sell some of them. I'm kind of one, like, I like to keep four cards of every single set in my collection. Maybe I'll sell them when I'm dying or for when my son goes to college. But uh, for now, they're just racking up, man, collecting dust and uh, staying pretty. So I've been happy with this set. I think I've put, what, I don't know. I've put a lot of money into it so far, but I've more than got double, almost triple that in value back. So if you're contemplating buying yourself a collector booster um, box of Strixhaven, take a look at the videos I put up. You'll see they just don't disappoint. I mean, even on the low end when you're not whipping out mythics like I have been today, um, you're still bound to get top dollar cards that are going to get you back your investment and or um, excellent cards to add to your collection for gameplay. So um, if you're interested in checking out what we've got in shop, we do have our shop online at tcgplayer.com as well as eBay. Um, you can find us on eBay at pistol underscore peats underscore gaming or you can find us also on TCG Player using a similar type of name, Pistol Pete's Gaming. So have yourselves a freaking wonderful rest of the day, start to the day, whatever your day is all about right now. And uh, keep coming back to check for more. Drop your comments down below. Don't forget to subscribe. And you'll be entered into a drawing for a free up to $20 card in a video that we post in exactly one month from the time of upload. Have a great one, everyone. Cheers out.